What is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug and today you're going to be getting plugged in. The most dominant build in NBA 2K19 for the center position. First of all, hit that like button. Let's go crazy, man. Noti Gang, Plug Nation, you know what time it is. 2K19 is on the way. It's almost out and we are lit. Okay, the excitement, the hype is all there. The game looks way better than 2K18. And for our first build, I'm going to be showing you the runner up. Okay, the, the build that is in second place for the most dominant build in the game. The dominant center build. Now, I came to the conclusion that the peer post score is the runner up, the second place winner for the most dominant build in 2K19. Now, you, as you can see by the stats, extremely good. The badges, you get all the post score stuff. Difficult shots, gold, relentless gold. You you don't even have athletic in your name, and you get relentless gold. Then you get mid range dead eye silver, tireless silver, post riser silver, pick and roller silver, hustle rebounder silver, dimer silver, rim protector silver. Insane. Okay, so when you hit ninety nine. You're going to have 7 Hall of Fame, 11 Gold Badges, 7 Silver Badges. Now, I'm looking at every build as an investment. Once you hit 99, because I'm definitely hitting 99 this year, guys. I'm definitely hitting it. Hopefully, it's not that hard to hit in the park. Hopefully, it's the, the best way to hit 99. We don't want, you know, my career grinders to be 99 first because... You know, you know, I don't need to go deep in the detail, man. But guys, the peer post score is definitely the second best dominant build. Now, there's going to be people commenting below. Oh, badge plug this and this. I'm saying dominant build. I'm not saying a build that you are making to sacrifice for the for the sake of your teammates. Like, say a rebound, a peer glass. OK, a peer glass is a sacrificed build. Now. This is a post-scoring athletic. This is the number one dominant build in the game. Now, I'm going to get into it, but let me finish what I was saying. So, a sacrifice build is like a pier glass. You know, you're sacrificing your offense and stuff so that you can set big, big bodies and you can get rebounds for your teammates. That's a sacrifice build, just like a defender. You're sacrificing offense and stuff so that you can get the ball back and have better defense with your teammates. But the post-scoring slasher... Relentless Hall of Fame, Bruiser Hall of Fame, Brick Wall Hall of Fame, Posteriser Gold, Pick and Roller Gold, Postman Technician Gold, Drop Stepper Gold, Difficult Shot Silver, Tyler Score Silver, Acrobat Silver, Hustle Rebounder Silver, Rim Protector Silver. Then you also get Mid Range Dead Eye, you get Pick and Popper, you still get Dimer, you get everything, guys. You still get Defensive Stopper. This build will be the most dominant build in 2k19 most likely okay so i'm going off what i have seen in the prelude now listen with if and when so so if i make other build videos for you guys i'm not necessarily going to be showing you gameplay in the prelude and i want you guys to understand why because if you're watching someone that makes a build video for you and tells you this is the best build in the game right and their defending argument is look what i'm doing in the prelude on like half of rookie like it's not even on rookie it's literally like half of that maybe a quarter of rookie the prelude is made for 60 overalls to dominate okay to, to go crazy you know for one for two reasons for bad people to enjoy the game and buy the game and for just anything like so you don't have to buy vc so that you're interested in the game you're like oh you know it's gonna be easy my build is godly i'm definitely buying 2k19 when it comes out this build's gonna kill it all that type of stuff post scoring slasher listen you guys that have watched my channel okay you guys that have watched my live streams i stream live on youtube almost every day right I streamed from December to August almost every single day. Now, when 2K19 comes out, I'll be streaming almost every day. 
I streamed last night. We had like 2,000 plus in there. I streamed the night of the prelude. We had like 3,000 plus. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Click that bell right next to subscribe. If you haven't clicked subscribe yet, hit that subscribe button. Join the Plug Nation. I'm telling you. You think this is the only tips videos and build videos I'm going to make for you guys? Just like last year when people were mad at me because I released the, the info on how to break ankles with sinners. Now, I know people were upset. But if I know something that is very important to your gameplay and beneficial to you, I will most likely make a video on it to help my subscribers get better at the game. Now, I'm not saying that breaking ankles was the best thing ever, but I'm just saying that was something that was kept very, very low key for quite a while in 2K18. And I brought it out and I know some people were mad, but listen, I got to help my subs out, man. I'm going to be dropping jump shot videos. I'm going to be dropping archetype videos. I'm going to be dropping VC videos. I'm going to be dropping tips and tricks on how to win, how to win more efficiently, how to do everything. Okay. Because my subscribers are the most important thing to me. I want to make sure you guys are going into 2k19 playing as best as you can be. Now, the post scoring slasher okay i'm going to pop up something right here most likely if i don't forget where the contact dunks came out the other day and the contact dunks or the chart came out last night uh they're not very important okay you're gonna have to make your guys seven foot one or seven foot tall to get contact dunks on a center now like zach timmerman said you can get contact dunks without those dunk packages. You do not need those packages to do that. Now, what I've been telling my friends, guys, because if you, like I was saying, you guys watch my streams, my boy Raptor, post scoring slasher, my boy Sane, athletic post, they're all, most of my good friends are, are inside centers. Okay, so I know a lot about centers and the information I'm giving you is from these people. Now, they could be mad at me for making this video, but I'm telling you, the post scoring slasher is the perfect combination in between post scoring and then contact layups, contact dunks in the paint. Yeah, with your pure post score, you're gonna be even better at uh, you know, post hops and all the post moves. But you don't necessarily need Hall of Fame post moves to do post moves. Okay, we all know this from 2K18. Now, I know that 2K19 is going to be different. But in 2K18, you could basically do post moves without any post badges. Almost sometimes, literally, you, like on my stretch big, I could drop step people. As long as you did it right. Uh, I didn't attempt it a lot. But you could definitely do it. Okay. Now, Zach Timmerman did say... You don't need those contact dunks to do contact dunks, all right? You're still going to get dunks. Those are more of flashy dunks, most of them. And what I've been telling my friends is, now this is a dominant center build video. I want you guys to understand. Dominant center build. So when it comes to weight and height and arm span, I told my friends, go all in this year. Well, you are sacrificing to get your mid-range up a little bit. You're sacrificing to get your speed up a little bit. Now, I understand if you want to get your speed up a little bit and you don't want to go max weight. I understand that a tiny bit. But I'm telling you, if you are 290 pounds, okay, and you have the longest arms possible, and you're seven foot three or seven foot two, you're going to absolutely destroy people that you're guarding. One reason why is because you're the maxed out player possible. The second reason, and I'm going to be saying this in my archetype video that I'm coming out with maybe tonight or tomorrow. If we can get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll post my archetype video today. Or I'll post it tomorrow depending on when we get it. But I'm telling you guys, all these people for 2K19 are making these sacrifices on their players to where they can be better at mid-range shooting, better at more speed, blah, blah, blah. They're making their guys lower weight. They're making their guys lower arm span. So if you come into the park 
with a with a post scoring slasher, 290 pounds. You know you get attribute boost because attribute boost is confirmed back. You're going to be destroying the people you're going up against. There's not going to be much that they can do. You're going to be twice their arm span. 40, 50, 60. Uh, stretches are going to be really, really small unless they just don't want to be good shooters and then there's no reason to make a stretch. 60, 70 pounds heavier than who you're playing against. Now, as you can see, the post score athletic gets 12 bars on the mid range. 12. And it goes up five more so doesn't it doesn't really matter if you are max arms because once you unlock those mid ranges and you get attribute boost and hopefully you guys will unlock hot spots as long as you are getting that shot up to green it's going to green the the amount of efficiency of you missing with just a few less points is very low as long as you're you know what you're doing the only people that are going to make inside builds that don't have the arm spin so that they can get their mid-range up a tiny bit, they're doing that because they are self-conscious of their shooting. You don't need to have an 85 mid-range to hit a wide open mid-range, okay? I'm promising you guys this before the game even comes out because every 2K has been like that. Now, I know this 2K is way different, but I'm telling you, if lockdowns like like 2K has said has good offense and pure glasses have good offense, you don't think that your 16 bars, 17 bars of mid-range once you unlock it all plus attribute boost plus hotspots is going to be a knockdown mid-range killer as long as you know your shot? If you don't think so, you don't know what you're talking about. Guys, it's your boy Badge Plug. Leave your opinions down below. Hopefully, if we get 2,000 likes, I can drop my archetype video today. You have been plugged in. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Turn on post notifications. I'll probably be streaming again tonight. And I'm out. Peace.